Hey guys, this is an early look to the Steam Frame. Yes, this is the latest spatial computer from Valve. Essentially a glorified Steam Deck on your face. And it's actually very cool. But I think many current VR players will hate it. So let's see what I will be showing you here today. You can see this runs the official SteamOS, SteamOS Halo, meaning this is the official SteamOS beta from Valve and I got it from the Steam website. You see I can control all hardware stuff from the operating system and you can do that only in the SteamOS, not Windows. So here is a VR game, it is VR only and running it has crashed my machine. So I have restarted and did try again and the game runs but only in a flat screen mode. Well you might say this is just a bug, this is a beta, but I will show you why this is by design. Why Steam Frame is not a VR headset but a spatial computer for all the flat screen gaming and maybe have a VR as a secondary feature. So basically this is a Steam Deck but with a huge virtual screen. You see I'm playing a flat screen game but it kinda interacts with my room. It shines light and drops shadows through the screen. That is exactly a feature of what Apple calls a spatial computing. If you watch the Apple Vision presentation, basically all windows are blending with your room, they are dropping real shadows and interacting with objects around. All movies expand beyond your screen, so Valve is doing exactly that, but with video games. I have put uh, my Play for Dream headset now, basically this is an Apple Vision alternative from China, and you can see I have turned my room into the environment from the game. And I actually did not expect for it to work so well. But believe me, this is crazy. Just having this lame background all around my screen totally changes the vibe for the game. And obviously then it will have a light and shadow effects in the official Steam version. Just wow, I can definitely see why Valve is doing this spatial computing thing. Instead of the VR as we currently know. Even this game is not in VR, it actually has so many VR qualities for the immersion. And just imagine, no matter if you have the latest PlayStation 5 Pro or PlayStation 6 or how big and expensive is your latest OLED TV, it simply cannot compete with this experience. This is the true next gen, the true game changing experience not some shit in numbers that the PlayStation 6 supposedly has better graphics but all new games look worse and worse even than the old ones like Red Dead Redemption 2 or Cyberpunk from a few years ago. Then here I have VR controllers and Visa from the Steam Frame. They look more like a Xbox or Steam Deck controllers at best. Again, because we are optimized for flat screen games first, or so-called spatial computing, which is a fancy way to say you play a new Half-Life game, and you sit in this apocalyptic bunker from the game, and all objects fall in and out from the screen, into your actual room. And that gives you a completely new never seen before level of immersion. You cannot get this on any of the consoles or mobile. And all of this runs on your standalone headset. Now imagine it's not only objects jumping in and out of a screen, it could be your game map or an inventory, all this available next to your main screen. No more menus, no more pausing the game. You instantly can see all your items, map and everything you need at the side of your game screen. And Apple here shows just the regular flat screen gaming. But again, the point of the Steam Frame is this enhancing your flat screen games with these spatial gimmicks, you may say. But we really do change the experience. Only having this stupid background or some light shining from the screen on it, it really changed the whole mood and the immersion. I did not expect this. And lastly, imagine your Steam friends. 
being able to join your virtual space where you can show them your latest skins unlocked in the Counter Strike. Or you can just sit, chill and chat in these different game vaults. That is all current most popular games like the Gorilla Tag or VR Chat is. Just a bunch of people sitting in a virtual vault and chatting, watching videos or playing basic games together. And community is like the biggest part of the Steam. All workshop items seamlessly integrated with games. It's exactly how they will integrate with this spatial computer. And why for developers this is so easy to add these bonus environments and make all the gun skins, hats and all similar little items available. Like it's your gorilla tag. So Steam would instantly kill all those few VR games that are still successful and capture the market left with the silly skins and hats for your social VR. And lastly, imagine playing Street Fighter or FIFA type game on a flat screen with your friend sitting in the same virtual house. That is again bringing old ideas about console gaming uh, together at a single home, except it's now a virtual home. And this is very important because current PC and console market is dying. All Call of Duty and Battlefield devs are literally saying Zoomers do not buy console games anymore. They do not buy PCs, they do not buy games on a Steam. They simply play on the mobile or they simply play a single game like a Fortnite. And just look at the numbers. Random indie game has half of a million players. And look at the recent biggest AAA VR game like a Behemoth. It has six players. VR is so dead. Look at the Metro, another recent big VR game. Nine players and a thousand players peak. It does not even compare to a random indie developer with half a million of players. And this is not a single case. Shadow won another half a million just a few months ago. So clearly kids buy these cheap and simple indie games today. We do not own big and expensive PC that could run all these expensive VR games. So does this standalone headset to you make so much more sense now? I know current PC VR players will be super mad and upset, but this is exactly where the whole gaming industry is going in 2025. It is mobile free to play games that make all the profit and a single online service games that capture players for years. Nobody cares about your another big VR or a console release from a AAA studio. It's not only that the VR is dying, it's the whole console gaming as renewing with big releases every year. That, that business model simply does not work anymore. And obviously Lord Gaben is thinking three steps ahead to the future. So I'm actually excited for the Steam Frame and all enhanced flat screen games it will bring and all new users that will be and that all new users that will get into Drews to wearing a headset and playing the simple stuff on a flat screen. And just a few more years later it is possible we will have enough people to step back to a full VR games. But for now I do not believe Valve cares about those 5 VR chat furries that have been asking for the next VR headset not only, only with a finger but your PP tracking and uh, even more base stations that is just not going to happen. The future of VR is standalone and these silly simple cheap games that could be enhanced for spatial computing with minimal effort from the developers. Wolf have made so many devs optimize their games to the Steam Deck. And the next step is to make the same devs optimize for the Steam Frame. Even if all of that is just a little gimmicks like adding an extra spatial environment or some little effects falling from a screen or little skins and minigames for VR. And again, after playing the Silkson in the spatial computer environment, I would not even call this a gimmick. 
this is actually cool. And I have shot this video using the Quest Pro and Play for Dream headsets. I was using my ASUX ROG Ally running the SteamOS and this BMAX mini PC. I have bought it for VR, uh, but learned the hard way Intel integrated GPUs do not run the any of the VR games. So this is my special computer at the home created by accident. Again, if you are interested, I will leave all links and promo codes in the video description below. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.